One of the biggest errors that people see when they're squatting is their knees collapse in. You see this a lot in people who are less experienced with lifting. You know, oftentimes I get total newbies or I get people who are, are very conflicted. Like they, they've come through, they've had other coaches and they've been taught to squat certain ways. Now, when I get a newbie in, somebody who's not really used to this, if they squat down and their knees collapse in, that's something that I'm looking to fix. We might call this a knee valgus or a knee collapse. And what happens here is it puts extra pressure on the outside of the knees and it lengthens the inside of the knees. Oftentimes this position is associated with major knee injuries like meniscus tears, ACL injuries, MCL sprains, all sorts of stuff like that. So in those cases, when that happens, you're, you're coming into some athletic movement, maybe soccer, it's very common in soccer. Um, you might shift forward a little bit onto your toe and you might never find your heel on the ground when you're performing a cut and the knee collapses in just like this. And when that happens at a high velocity with higher forces, it can sometimes compromise the knee and you see some pretty gnarly knee injuries. <laughs> uh, not really something I want to laugh about, but they are, they are pretty gnarly. When you're fixing this, sometimes it's just as simple as cueing it, right? So as I squat down, if I see this, I might just say, hey, I want you to force your knees apart, okay? I'm looking to have your hip and your knee and your foot all in a straight line. And that's, when you look at it from a particular angle, you can kind of see that. Uh, so that's the big thing. When I come down to fix the knee collapse, I'm gonna push my knees out. There is another way that this can get caused though. Sometimes if you look from the side, it just looks like a forward weight shift and the knees are collapsing. In this case, you might have to fix the forward weight shift before you can fix the knee collapse. I can't force my knees outward if I don't have the hip position to sit into. So that's the big fix there. So look from the side, look for a forward weight shift. You can use a mirror, you can film yourself just like I'm doing right now. Um, make sure you're sitting back and then you look from the front. Again, you can use a mirror or something and just look to get that knee in line with the hip and the foot.